Thank you for tuning in to the Belleville Crokinole Challenge, a Tier 1 National Crokinole Association event hosted by the Quinty Region Crokinole Club. Before we get into it, I want to emphasize just how insane this tournament was. Two world records were broken, and the greatest upset not of this tour, not of this year, but perhaps of the past decade happened at this tournament. It was so crazy, in fact, that Nathan Walsh, the man, myth, and legend behind Crokinole Center came out of retirement temporarily to write a blog post about it. I'll be highlighting some of the key points from that in this video, however, I highly recommend you read the blog, which is tagged down below in the description. With that, let's get into it. 49 competitors came out to the Belleville Challenge, a record high for this tourney. Of those, 11 moved on to the afternoon A pool. Going in order of points scored in the morning round robin, we have Justin Slater and Andrew Hutchinson at the top. Next, we have Ron Landrell, who's made the top pool of every Tier 1 tournament so far this season. Following him, we have Ray Beerling, who made the finals of the B pool at the Turtle Island Championship, as well as top 12 at the World Crokinole Doubles. We have two lesser-known players who I believe we'll see a lot more of in coming tournaments. Sean Haggerty, who placed 5th at the World Crokinole Singles and made A pool at the Turtle Island Championships, as well as Ryan Burr, who also made the top pool at Turtle Island. Going into the second half of the pool is where we start to see some surprises. Next up, we have Devin Fortino, a newcomer to the competitive Crokinole scene. We'll get more on that later. Next, we have Fred Slater, who plays first at the World Crokinole Doubles. Nathan Walsh, a fan favorite who made the A pool at the Turtle Island Championship. Jason Beerling, who was a semi-finalist at Turtle Island. And yours truly, who was in the top 16 at the World Crokinole Singles. Aside from having a newcomer in the top ranks of this tournament, the next big surprise was that this pool set a record for most 20 scored in a singular round robin. Across all the players, there was an average of 133 20 scored over 10 games, a record that hasn't been beat since 2018. Of the 11 competitors, four moved on to the semifinal round. While nobody was surprised to see Justin Slater, Andrew Hutchinson, and Jason Beerling amongst the top ranks, there was excitement and nervousness as people saw Devin Fortino amongst the semifinalists. So let's take a look at that right now. In our first semifinal match, we have Devin Fortino versus Andrew Hutchinson. Devin is a complete newcomer to the competitive Crokinole scene. He hasn't played in any tournaments, he doesn't partake in any clubs, he's just a guy from North Bay who plays Crokinole once every few weeks with his brother. A few months ago, he heard about competitive Crokinole and thought he'd check out the tournament. And all we know aside from that is he's one heck of a 20 shooter. He scored the most 20s in the A pool in the afternoon with 158 20s over 10 games. Up against him is no easy challenge as he faces off against Andrew Hutchinson, a well-known Crokinole veteran currently ranked third in the National Crokinole Association. So far in this season, he has put on quite a performance. He placed third in the World Crokinole Doubles alongside Jeremy Tracy. He made the semifinalist round at the World Crokinole Singles, and he placed first at the Turtle Island Crokinole Championship. Needless to say, this will be an extremely exciting match between the newcomer and Crokinole veteran. In our second semifinal match, we have a classic matchup between one of the Beerling brothers, Jason Beerling, and perhaps one of the most famous Crokinole players ever, Justin Slater. Jason Beerling is currently ranked 13th in the National Crokinole Association. He plays top 12 in the World Crokinole Doubles. He was a semifinalist at the Turtle Island Crokinole Championship, and he is an eight-time World Crokinole Doubles champion alongside his brother, Ray. Facing off against him is none other than Justin Slater, who is currently tied for first alongside Connor Ryman in the National Crokinole Association. Justin plays first at the 2024 World Crokinole Doubles alongside his father, Fred Slater, and was also a semifinalist in the World Crokinole Singles Division. He is a five-time World Crokinole Champion, and this morning he broke yet another world record, scoring the most 20s any player ever has in a round robin. He scored 149 20s over 9 games, which is an average of 16.5 20s per match. That is over half his shots being converted into 20s. So certainly on a roll, this will be an epic showdown between Beerling and Slater. Before you skip ahead to the action, here's some of the upcoming events happening in the National Crokinole Association Tour. The next tournament is the Scenic City Crokinole Classic, a Tier 1 doubles event happening in Owen Sound, Ontario, October 19th. Sign-up information has been released on this event in the National Crokinole Association Facebook page, so if you want to compete, grab a partner and sign up. 
The weekend following that is the Maryland Doubles Crokinole Championship, which is a Tier 2 event happening October 26th. Just under a month after that is the Ontario Doubles Crokinole Championship, a Tier 1 event happening in Brucefield, Ontario, November 16th. There's a little bit of a break for the holidays, and then the Elmira Winter Crokinole Classic, a Tier 1 singles tournament happening January 18th in Elmira, Ontario. These tournaments are open to all, and if you're wondering if a newcomer can hang in the big leagues, look no further than Devin Fortino. So if you want to come and compete, sign up. If you want to watch the coverage, tune into Tracy Boards, like and subscribe to join the expanding Crokinole universe. My name is Garrett Tracy, and make it a great day.